Okay, this is going to be an experiment that goes along with the determining density for the materials property section. There are going to be six materials that we're going to test the density of, and what you need to pay careful attention to is the water level before we put the material in, and then the water level after. And there is a little bit to be said about you have to pay careful attention to where the water level actually is. Right now I tried to make it as close to on 40 milliliters as much as I could. So we're going to, uh, as this changes, as we dump this in and water leaves and enters the system, this is gonna change a little bit. So it's not gonna stay exactly at 40. But let's go ahead and get started with this. The first material that we're gonna test out is we're gonna test out a piece of brass. And here we go. We're gonna take that piece of brass and we're gonna put it inside. I'm gonna hope that I don't break anything. I'm gonna slowly put this in. All right, now look at the water level after it goes in. I'm gonna pull it back out. Okay, second piece of material is going to be, it's the same diameter sphere, but this sphere is made of aluminum. Pay careful attention because the water level did change a little bit because some of the water got kicked out. So when you write down your observations, you probably don't want to say the exact same volume every single time. It's probably going to either get a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. All right, we're going to try that one. Let it sit there for a second. You can kind of see the difference in the angle between uh, the, the visual between where light actually bends inside the medium. That's fascinating, but this is for density and not the index of refraction. Pull this back out. Okay, look at the water level again. And remember, you can measure this out, so like you don't have to just say, oh, that's 39 or oh, that's 40. If you want to try to give a guess to it, you can actually kind of estimate it a little bit more. Give it your best shot on what you think that it is. The next piece that we're going to use is going to be a piece of steel. Nice and shiny. Take that one and we're going to put it in. Oh, if it can fit. Let's see if I can get this wire to behave. This is like the worst one to misbehave. Let's see if I can pull it out a little bit. If I don't have this little wire, and I dump it in there, then we're gonna have to dump it back out to get it to go. There we go. All right, so here we go. Inside. Take a look at the water level reading. Record that number. And then we'll pull it back out. All right, the next material is gonna be a piece of cork. So this one's gonna look a little bit different. It's not very shiny, but it's definitely a different material. So we're gonna use a piece of cork and put that in there. We're gonna try to put that in there. It looks like I have the same problem. Although the cork's not nearly as heavy, so let's see, it's a very light material. You almost kinda have to force it down there. Oh, it, oh, it barely worked, okay. Whew. There it is, push it in, take a look at the water level. Write that water level down. Okay, and then we're gonna pull it out. Two more pieces to go. We have a piece of, oh, this is just barely, water is very sticky, so once you get it in there, it's kinda hard to get it out. There we go. Two more materials. One of them is a piece of wood. Here we go. And I'm afraid I'm gonna have the same problem with this one. Let's hope not. Put the piece, of, oh, by the way, this is what I know. You'll probably uh, know what wood looks like, but this is the piece of wood. Same material. And we're going to use this one. And water's a little sticky. Oh, push, 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 push. There we go. All right, record the water level before and after. So if you didn't get this, uh, if you didn't get the water level before, just rewind the video. And then pull this one back out. last piece is going to be a piece of copper. I'm going to use a piece of copper and we're going to put that in there. 
hopefully I don't break anything. This is kind of like the steel when it comes to how heavy it is. So here we go, we're gonna take the copper, we're gonna put it in, look at the water level before, now look at the water level after. Record these two numbers. I'm gonna pull it back out. And then there we have it. From there we can calculate the density by just taking the mass of the materials and then dividing it by the volume of the materials, which means that in order to get this finished, we're going to need the masses of each and every single one of these, which means that we probably want to get a mass counter and actually use that. Here we go. I'm going to pretend that I just thought that through, but that was um, not very true. So hopefully this will actually work. We're going to move our camera so that we can actually see what's going on here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to grab it and we're just going to go. So we can take each and every one of these. Here we go. So that we can actually see the number is. Okay, so this is for the brass. Looks like the brass comes out with a mass of about 70 grams. The aluminum is next. The aluminum is much, much lighter in terms of mass. It comes out to be about 23 grams. Next is the steel. Okay, steel comes out to about 66 grams. The cork dry without water comes out to an amazing two grams, much, much lighter. The wood dry, not wet, is going to come out to about six grams. And the copper is going to come out to about 74 grams. Okay, so we have the masses of each one of these, and we also have the amount of volume that it displaced, so we can now use mass divided by volume to find the density of these objects.